Prime Minister Modi will visit Russia for the 16th BRICS summit next week. National Aerospace Laboratories has successfully completed the development of the Advanced Frequency Selective Surface Radom for India's AMCA program, that will play a pivotal role in enhancing the stealth capabilities of the AMCA. The Aeronautical Development Agency will demonstrate manned unmanned teaming functionalities using the Naval Tejas prototype in 2025, including formation flying, information sharing, task execution, formation rerouting and recovery. General Electric and Hindustan Aeronautics are closing in on a landmark agreement for the transfer of technology of F-414 engine, and it will be signed by mid-December. The Indian Navy is seeking private sector collaboration for high-power laser source development, for both weapon systems and sensors for next-generation naval warfare. Border Roads Organization will complete the runway construction at the Nyomu Air Base in Ladakh by end of November. Subgroup has announced that if it is awarded the MRFA contract, it would deliver the first Gripeni fighter with indigenous content to India within the succeeding three years. The head of Gripen for India program has said that Saab Group is keen to explore full-scale manufacturing opportunities for the Gripeni with a complete transfer of technology, including airframe systems and software to serve Indian requirements, as well as global export market. Saab Group has conducted favorable discussions with a host of private partners that are ready to support the company in its indigenization efforts. Safran has said that its MRO facility in Hyderabad is already capable of producing M88 engines, and the company is prepared to scale up production significantly if it receives a substantial order. Safran is ready to manufacture the M88 engines entirely in India with transfer of technology to its subsidiary in India, that would enable the company to outsource parts of the manufacturing process to Indian private sector companies, increasing the indigenous content to at least 60%, which is crucial for achieving a maintainability rate of around 75%. In addition to the 186 engines needed for India's existing fleet of 36 Rafale and 26 upcoming Rafale Marine, if Dassault wins the MRFA tender, the Indian Air Force will require 350 M88 engines over the lifetime of its fleet in the next 40 years. Israeli firm Elbit Systems has proposed its expertise in developing a new advanced helmet-mounted display system for India's AMCA program, that would improve the pilot's ability to designate and track targets simply by looking at them, enhancing engagement accuracy and speed. The system would offer tactical and flight data directly within the pilot's line of sight thus reducing the need to glance down at cockpit displays, which is particularly important in high-pressure scenarios where split-second decisions are necessary. Today's Top 3 Comments